and welcome live to the Mayo Civic Center in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm Joe Pettacino, and already, Jim Cornette, you've got this crowd in a frenzy for oh. the Super Ladies Showdown. We are going to have the greatest event in the history of ladies professional wrestling right here today. That's right. Three titles are going to be decided. The LPWA World Singles title, the LPWA World Tag title, and also a tournament on today's program, a round-robin tournament. Three Americans, five Japanese for the LPWA Japanese Championship. One lucky winner is going to have to wrestle and win three times today. All right, that's coming up. And of course, our big main event, Terry Powers finally gets her opportunity against Lady X, and she says that that Ladies World title is going home with her today. No chance, brother, because I know Lady X, and she's ready for this like she's never been before. She's going to retain the championship. We've also got the tag team titles on the line, Bambi and Malaya Hosaka against the Glamour Girls. We've also got that big tournament you're talking about, plus a couple of special grudge matches. Where did you get the coat, Jim? Hey, I got this from my good friend Doug Cooper. He's got a whole closet full of these things. Hey, shut up! What's the matter with you? They wouldn't know fashion if it jumped up and slapped them. All right, right now it's time to go to Mick Karsh. He is standing by. He's got some information for us, and we'll be back in just a second. What a great, great event we're going to have. But right now, let's go to Mick Karsh. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. We are in the tunnel, and I've got to tell you the intensity is at a fever pitch. These ladies are geared up. They recognize the importance of this event this afternoon. It promises to be absolutely tremendous. We'll be getting comments from the ladies as they make their way to the ring. Let's go back to Joe Pettacino and Jim Cornette. All right, Mick Karsh will be standing by there in the tunnel where he will be interviewing some of the participants of today's card as they are just about to come out to the ring. We will be getting their thoughts just as they're coming to the ring. Bonnie Blackstone is standing by. She is in the hospitality suite where she will be giving us... <laughs> I can imagine how hospitable she's being back there in the hospitality suite knowing Bonnie. All right, she is going to be interviewing up close and personal some of the wrestlers on today's card. Bonnie? Joe and Jim, I hope all of our viewers are enjoying this great Super Lady Showdown. As you can see, I'm here in the hospitality suite, and this is a very special area just outside of the arena. We have this set up here to get some of the up-close and personal feelings about some of our Super Ladies here with the LPWA and their matchups on this great pay-per-view exclusive. I'll be talking to such stars as Olympic trainer Brad Rangans, Terry Power, Reggie Bennett, and Denise Storm. All that and a whole lot more. Let's return now, though, to Joe Pettacino and Jim Cornett. All right, Nick Bockwinkle, Sue Henning are standing by. They will be, uh, during the day, as we said, we will be taking some special uh, looks at some of the matches coming up, and it's time now to get ready for our first match. So let's go to Nick Bockwinkle and Sue Henning and take a look at what Nick thinks is going to happen. Nick, our first match here, we've got Royal and Star taking on Honda and Kitamura. Now, Royal and Star have about a little bit more of a weight advantage. What do you think about that? Well, the weight advantage, as far as I'm concerned, is not uh, big enough to really make a difference. What I'm looking at is, again, there's nine years of experience on the two, on the Japanese team. There's six years of experience on the American team. And with young athletes, that three years is a big bunch. So I, right now, I have to give my nod to the Japanese team. Okay. Might have to eat my words, but let's go back to Jim and Joe. And let's see how it turns out. All right, we are ready to go to the ring now. As a matter of fact, Al Darusha entering the ring. As he <laughs> he better is, uh, watch out. I'm afraid his pacemaker is going to have garage doors doing flip-flops in his <laughs> Well, as Al. All right, as uh, Al is ready, it's time now for the entrances of our first match of the day. This afternoon will feature LPWA Tank Team Action. Two of our bevy of beauties, if you will, entering the ring at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing from Valdesta, Georgia, weighing in. 135 pounds, she is Allison Royal. And her tag team partner from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 160 pounds, she is Lisa Starr. 
wrestling fans from Tokyo, Japan, I would like to introduce Mickey Honda and her tag team partner, Mami Kitamori. LPWA tag team action and now down to ringside. All right. This should be quite an exciting match, Jim Cornette. We have got, of course, the team of Royal and Star, and uh, they have teamed up several times in the LPWA, and I understand they've been working out together. However, let's be honest, this team of Kitamori and Honda from Japan are a very experienced team. Well, I'll tell you something, Joe, you've got to, uh, you got to admire the fact that Allison Royal seems to have been working out quite a bit. She is looking more voluptuous than we have seen her in the past, but Lisa Starr, always a favorite of mine, and she is taking it to Mickey Honda right now. All right, Honda is down. And, uh, you know, this has to be quite an experience for these Japanese ladies as they have uh, come here to the United States. And what do they run into their first time? A huge ice and snowstorm here in the Midwest. Uh, and Jim, I have seen more snow and ice out on the ground in the past two days than I've ever seen in my life. Well, I don't like snow because I'm a southern boy, and I didn't appreciate having to come up here to the Arctic wilderness, but at least these girls are heating things up in the ring right now, and Lisa Starr, luscious Lisa herself, has Mickey Hunter. Wait a minute, misses that close line. Close body she comes over the crowd, a flying cross body, and there's a uh, close line, and now Mickey Honda going up on the second rope. Where is she going? Royal, those big forearms to the back, and then she just smashed her head right down into the uh, the ring. Drop kick, shade to the Rock and Roll Express. Rather, a big double drop kick from the Japanese team, and now Mickey Honda with a big vertical suplex. Allison Royal has got to be confounded at trying to combat the Japanese style, which is very unorthodox compared to the American way of wrestling. There's Mommy, come to Mommy, and boy, she came to Allison. There's some of that teamwork we were talking about, too. You saw they are working together as a well-oiled team. And now, Kitamori has got uh, Allison Royal, throws her into the ropes. Where's she going to go? Comes off. So she flips, she Only a one count. Only a one count. Allison Royal, a good move, though, as she flips over Kitamori. Kitamori now hurting. Well, Allison Royal, she's got some spunk and some good in the day. The Japanese girl trying to switch, good to hang on. Allison Royal grabbing the shoulder in the bread basket. Gonna have a monkey flip. There you have it. Kitamori now with a... Gotta have a backache after that one. Now she goes back into the corner. Here they go again. This time she does reverse it. Throws her in. Comes in. Drops it right into the corner. Shades of the lightning kid. Now we know where that move came from. I tell you what, Allison Royal had nowhere to go. Just like a trash bag. That's a western move there. Maybe she's from Dallas, Japan. Well. Mommy Kitamori now signals her call to Mickey Honda off the top rope. Wow, move out of the way. Honda and Kit Kitamori with a double drop kick. And now Lisa Starr is in the ring, and now we're seeing some teamwork from the team of Royal and Starr. Big double suplex. Here comes, here comes Mickey Honda back with a drop kick on Lisa Starr. And Royal going to the top rope, but wait a minute, she's Where? gotten caught up there. She she's has gotten out of the ropes. The top rope, one, two, three, she's got it. And the first match goes to the Japanese team of Kitamori and Hyundai. What a match that was. There are your winners. What a tremendous display of technical wrestling. You gotta hand it to them, the Japanese team. Kitamura over Star and Royal.
Well, I tell you something, right off the bat, we see that the Japanese ladies are here. Woo. They mean business. They sure do. Here today on the Super Ladies Showdown. And if you're going to have to keep a scorecard of the United States versus Japan, the first mark goes to the team from Japan. But I think the LPWA Japanese tournament could change things just a little bit because Dangerous Denise Storm is in that one, and I'm looking forward to that coming All up right. a little bit later Let's on. Let's go right now to Mitch, Mick Karsh. He is standing by in the tunnel. That's easy for you to say.